Ouf. Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Today we're comparing Half-Life Alex number two on the virtual desktop and Oculus Link. Let's go! Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. My name is Laz USK, and today, oof, very excited because we're talking about Half-Life 2 in VR. For those who are not familiar, Half-Life Alex is all about the aliens who have landed and taken over the world. It's set between Half-Life and Half-Life 2, and you play as Alex Vance to save the world. Just in case you weren't aware, it's absolutely free to go and download all the previous Half-Life series until the game is launched. So go to Steam and download them so you can try them for yourself. It'll be available from March 23rd on the Valve, HTC, the Windows Mixed Reality, the Oculus Rift, and also Oculus Quest using Link Cable. However, it should also be available if using Virtual Desktop. Before I proceed with the video's comparison, if you want to find out how to play Half-Life 2 using the Virtual Desktop or the Oculus Link, watch until the end of this video, as I will be providing you a step-by-step -step guide how to do so. Half-Life 2 VR mode is actually a modification from the original Half-Life 2 desktop version. And I didn't really think there would be a huge difference in gameplay or in graphics or sound compared to its original desktop version. It's the first time that I'm playing the Half-Life series and I didn't really understand why there's so much hype over the new game that's going to be released quite soon. So it got my curiosity going and I can tell you from the get-go when you start Half-Life 2, you really feel like you're a character in a movie. It feels immersive from the get-go. The noticeable differences between the virtual desktop and the Oculus Link version are first of all the graphics. There's actually a big difference. If you use the virtual desktop version, you'll notice that there's going to be a lot of jagged edges here and there, and sometimes it can, you know, it's not very clear. The Oculus Link version is already a lot more polished, and also they give you some weapons that you can use and have fun with. You have a torchlight that you have when you're walking around. The atmosphere, the ambient inclusion, it's already a level up. Now the reason why this exists excites me is because when I watch the trailers of the new Half-Life Alex that's about to come out and I see those differences of graphics between those trailers and the VR mode version, okay, of course there's a big difference, but the fact that the VR mode already provides that level of immersion at the state that it's in is only, only really exciting for what's to come. The Valve team have done a great job in a number of different areas, including how the shadows dissipate, how the light bounces on people, and of course the gameplay and the storytelling itself. Before we go ahead and learning how to install the Oculus Link mode, I'd just like to give a shout out to all those who went to watch and commented on the previous video, which is all about how to install the latest version of Virtual Desktop 1.10. Thank you very much, you guys are really awesome. All right, time for the cool stuff. Let's move on with the tutorial. Here's what you're gonna need. First of all, update your graphics card driver if you haven't done so. Then go to Steam, create an account, and download Steam onto your PC. For virtual desktop users, make sure that you've downloaded the latest app installer. And don't worry, if at any time you get a bit lost or you don't know where to go, go into the description below, I've put all the links there. Then log into your Steam account from your PC, go to the store, search for Half-Life and download all the free apps. Do note that virtual desktop is not free and also if you want to try Half-Life 2 using the VR mode, you're gonna have to purchase another app on Steam called Gary's Mode, which is also not free, but of course it's not very expensive either. Once you've made the purchase, make sure to click install and allow the app to install itself on your computer. Depending on your computer, it will take X amount of time. Okay, fantastic. Now that you've installed Gary's Mode, let's move on to how we can get it working in VR. So what you're gonna have to do is download it. Another few things, but these are free, so nothing more to pay from here onward. Go to the workshop tab, scroll down, and then search for VR mode. Now, if you can't find it, don't worry, go into the description below. There's a link where you can just directly get it from, and then just click on subscribe. This will enable you to basically run the app in a VR mode using Steam. Okay, after you click subscribe on the VR mode, now locate the file that you need to download that you will need to place in a specific folder, which I'll explain to you where to put in just a moment. Now search for VR Pistol. Again, if you can't find it, don't worry, there's a link in the description below. Just click on subscribe so that it gets added to your inventory. 
locate the VR gloves so that again it gives a little bit more realism to your gameplay. Scroll down and click subscribe again just like you just did when you downloaded the VR pistol. Now do you remember when you just downloaded the file from the VR mode page? Go to that file, unzip it. The file you're going to need to move is also called Gary's Mode. So what you do is you go back to Steam, locate your Gary Mode app, right click and go to properties. Now go to the tab where it says local file and click on browse local file. Now all you have to do is grab the folder called Gary's Mode which is located next to the file called install from the general folder that you just downloaded a moment ago. Now drag and drop that in the Steam library's local folder which will be Steam library, Steam apps, commons. So drag it in the commons folder. I put some details in the description just in case it might help you more. All right, awesome, we're nearly done. Now all you have to do is go back to Gary's mode in your Steam and press play. You will see it will start to load automatically and what you can do is go to the options video tab and change your videos. If you have this option, go to your NVIDIA control panel, manage 3D settings and then change the DSR with all the different native options as per on the screen. Okay, back inside of Gary Mode's app, go to the bottom right hand side corner. You'll see a little icon that looks like a gamepad. Click on that and then make sure that Half-Life 2 is enabled. Now go to the top of the left hand side and simply click on start game. Once the page loads, you'll see at the top again on the left hand side, a folder called Half-Life 2. Click on that and it's going to show you all the different scenes that are available for you to play. Now we suggest that you use episode one, scene one first to begin with. Then go to the bottom right and click start. Now after you've done that, it will reload the actual game itself in desktop mode. Now click and hold C. That will enable a pop-up that will come up where you can change the avatar. Choose the one that shows the gloves that we downloaded from the mode in Steam earlier on. And then let go of the button C. Now finally click on the Q tab and it's gonna open up a panel. Now you'll see on the right hand side, the second box from the right, it says utilities. Enable add laser pointer, controller oriented locomotion, alternative head angle, automatically start VR, draw crop desktop view if you want. So before you click start, here's what you need to do. First of all, power on your Oculus desktop software and also your Oculus VR headset. Then plug in the link cable in the VR headset and at the back of your computer in a SSD slot. Click allow inside of your headset and also enable Oculus link. And that's it, you're all done. Click start, put the headset on and boom, have fun. In the case after you put your VR headset on and everything is black or the screen is frozen, don't worry, it's absolutely normal. Simply go to the tab and click on Gary Moe's tab to make sure that that's the view you have on your desktop. If you by accident clicked on, for example, the Oculus software to show on your desktop screen as the main screen, then that's what's gonna happen. And of course, this video would not be complete if it wasn't for thanking Taro, who back in December did a video about teaching people how to use the mod for Half-Life 2 in VR. So thanks to you, you are a big inspiration. I really love your channel. So guys, go and give some love to him and check out his videos. All right, until next time, remember to like and subscribe, share some love so that you and I together can grow the community and help as many people in VR. Yeah, because that is what it's all about. All right, take it easy and DJ, take it away. Ooh.